thing. Hey, yes. Looks as good as ever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it hasn't changed much. I think a few holes have fallen off, but overall, the crag is just as I remember. Beautiful. Look at that photo, look at that incredibly crucial photo, which you think is a vertical piece of glass, isn't it? Black <laughs> glass, black eyes. You can see black, totally black, like it's so black. Is <laughs> so the cobwebs are black in there? So you're going to go for the flash? Um, retro, sorry, retro flash. Retro flash. I'll, go, I'll go for the flash, but it'd be nice if I don't in a way, because last time I tried to flash it, failed, and then worked it, and then red pointed it. It's like a nice journey, so I kind of almost want to do the same as that, but I'll, I'll still go for it, see what happens, but I imagine it's going to be guest and I'll fall straight on. He thinks it's pretty flashy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't. I don't. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't flashy. even see any old, can I? I can see one old there. And that's it. I'm actually quite excited about this. Yeah, it's great. It is. I'm sure send it. Um, I, I don't know, I mean, I hope to get it today, that would be good. I don't think I'll get it first go, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I have a good time on it, that's all that counts. Yeah, put it check. Put it check. Not scared, yeah, I'm delayed. She's good. good. Um, shoes are tied. Shoes are tied. Oh my god, god, I can't believe I almost set off with my shoelaces tied. I've got absolutely nowhere. That's not like it. Okay, let's go. You good? The bulge. It's got some small holes on it. Oh, yeah, there's some really, a couple of really small holes. I think I know where the hole that isn't there once was there. Yeah, yeah it's just after that start, there's a really bad hole. Um, the, the right hand? Yeah, the right hander. Around. It's really rubbish. That, that was a proper small, like, bit of nothing. Yeah. Classic Rubicon, though. Bad old, crimp on it really hard, pull like mad, hope for the best. You've done that like five minutes, Jim, you didn't uh, retro flash it. Oh man, no, I'm, not, I'm not bothered. No, I guess the thing about what falling off is you get to try it again. Yeah. If I'd done it that good, I would have been all over. But the savoury. We're here at Rubicon, Steve with Mike. Tell us about life 30 years ago. You as a climber, you as a person. 30 years ago, to be honest, I think I was pretty much the same person. I, I'm, I'm back here again with Mike, so nothing's really changed. But I think a few holes have fallen off. Things have moved on to some extent, but man, it's good to be back. It feels like old time. It feels like really nothing has really changed. Right, so exactly 30 years time. Why is it significant? So the real significance is that I was here with Mike 30 years ago, and we tried this route, Let the Tribe Increase, 7C+, plus, hard one and I really struggled on it. I, I, I didn't get it first go. I actually you went red to red pointer point then? Yeah, I had to red point it. And at the time I'd not red pointed hardly anything. And it was such a buzz to get it. It was so exciting to get it, 7C plus. And I can remember the big thing was I knew it wasn't my limit. I knew I had 8A in me. 
maybe not that day, maybe not that years down the line, but I knew I'd climb one one day and that was so exciting. And that's so a exciting. revelation, this climb particularly was a revelation for you? Yeah, this was the start. And you went on to do 8A? <laughs> I did, I went on to do 8A and then another 999 of them. So it's super significant. First of all, it's going to be my thousandth 8A. Because if I can, it's upgraded. It's upgraded to 8A. Right. Some holes have fallen off. It used to be 7C+, plus, now 8A. So it could be, hopefully be, my thousandth 8A. But the real amazing part is that, so Mike lives in the States and he's back today. We were together, we were both trying it, we both did it. And now it's come full circle. So I feel like it's like bookended the whole journey. I don't think it'll feel like an end. It's just another route in a list of amazing routes. And every 8A and above that I've done has, has been great. And this one will be great as well. I just hope I can get up it. Otherwise, I've really shot myself in the foot, haven't I? I'll choose a different one. But was, wasn't your first 8A Zeke the Freak? Uh, Which it, is 8B? It was, yeah. yeah but that, that, that's first all in eight. the list. 8A eight, yeah. eight and above, it has to be in the list. What's yeah. this list? What is it? What is it? Yeah. So ever since I started climbing sport routes, I've got my little book. I write everything in there, all the routes that I've done. Uh, so I've got a big pile of books at home with all these routes in. It's just like a little sort of debrief of the day, really. But those books are pretty special. Don't yeah. want to lose them. Right. And if you look back now on that day, could you ever have imagined you'd gone on and do what you went on and did? Ooh, could I have imagined I'd climb a thousand eight years? No way. Absolutely no chance. Like. The first few were just like so exciting. And then when it get to like 10 and 20, it was just a roller coaster. I think when I got to about 900, I thought, ooh, a thousand's a nice sounding number. Let's go for it. Felt absolutely totally amazing. It felt just as good as the last time, just as hard, just as intense. Fingers creak just as much. It's great to be back though. 30 years on, just as good. Number 1000. Number 1000! 